Welcome to section 4.2.1. We're starting a new section today, new unit, and this is going to get us into systems of equations. Just roughly a definition, systems of equations just means we have more than one equation that we're dealing with at the same time. Usually trying to find a value that will make all of them happy or true. Um, so here's the big question. What does it mean when two lines meet? And some of the big ideas in this particular section are going to be solving by graphing, interpreting graphs and using graphs, graphing lines from rules, and finding points of intersection, and of course systems of equations. They began this unit with a focus question on, uh, or challenge on the Iditarod race. And the Iditarod race is a big race in Alaska that um, is done on dog sleds. And it goes from Fairbanks, Alaska to Nome. It starts in Fairbanks and goes to Nome. Now, they tell us there are two these two girls on here, and I'm going to read this from here. Julia and her team of dogs made it through the first five checkpoints. At the same time, her buddy Evie left Nome the finish line on the first day of the race, started in an effort to meet Julia and offer encouragement. Evie traveled along the route towards the racers on her snowmobile. The progress of each person is shown on the graph. And they ask us a couple of questions about the graph. If I had a graph like this, I would suggest that you start by thinking about what the graph is telling you. If we look at this graph, first, the y-axis represents the distance in miles from Fairbanks. And the x-axis represents the time in hours. Remember that we're keeping track of the time and it's giving us distance as a result. It looks like one of these persons is getting closer to Fairbanks and one of them is getting farther. And why do I say that? Well, Fairbanks is going to be where on this scale? If I asked you how far I am from Kalamazoo right now, you would say zero. Well, since this is measuring from Fairbanks, we know that Fairbanks or the starting line is basically right here. Now, how can we use these points to kind of tell what's going on? Well, I'm going to suggest that if these points look like they're in a straight line, that you can, it's pretty good to assume that if these are checkpoints, that this person was in between those points. Now, might be a little bit, my line might be a little bit off, but pretty close should do what we want to do. Okay, the next line we're going to draw is through the circles. And we know that they started on the same day. Since they started on the same day, they both should have a zero time. Well, if I kind of take this back, my zero time is going to be up here somewhere. This is something that students often have a hard time finding is um, every year they seem to forget that uh, or not read carefully enough on that. So there's our two lines. It tells us that Julia is in the race and since the race is going to start at the starting line I'm going to label this one as Julia, and the other one is going to represent Evie. Now, that was the first question, which one represents and how can we tell? I can tell that this is Julia because she had to start at the zero or Fairbanks. And Evie started at the finish line, and even though this is um, out here, this is already 30 hours after the start, and we know they started on the same day. So I'm going to assume that they left at about the same time. And I'm going to say that that gives me one more little piece of information. That tells me that right about here, about 1,100 miles, is the finish line. I'm going to go ahead and draw that on here, because that's going to be kind of important. Okay. Now, next question. When did they meet? Well, Evie and Julia met right here 
Almost everybody got that right in class. It's where their two lines meet. And this place gives us two pieces of information. It tells us about when they met. It also tells us a little bit about the distance from Fairbanks where they met. So I know, for example, that they met somewhere between 90 to 100 hours. And, can't draw a straight line today. Looks to me like at about 475 miles. So, from Fairbanks. One of the questions now asks uh, how long the race is. We can see that the race is about 1100 because we're assuming that Evie started at the finish line. And it asks us who traveled faster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just look here. Evie traveled from 1100 miles to the 475 mile mark. Okay. which looks like about 625 miles. I know that Julia traveled from zero to the 475 mark, so she traveled 475 miles. In the same amount of time to right here. So from here to here was 625, here to here is 475, and so it's easy to see that um, Evie traveled faster. And that kind of makes sense. She's on a snowmobile. Good chance that that would go faster. Asked us about how long um, it took Julia to finish the race. That's why we marked the finish line in here earlier. If I continue Julia's line, this is not the finish place. It's not when they met. They met somewhere in the middle. So I continued my line to where I knew the finish line was, which was at 1,100 miles, right about here. If I follow that line down, If I can do this without. So it looks like from this graph that it was about 220 miles or 220 hours. The book says about 230, so they probably drew their line a little bit lower than mine so that it would meet over here. And when I did it in class, this is the graph that we we got there, and it actually looks like at about 230 there. So the lines can be a little bit off, and that was the big idea there. Okay, now, the next question asked us to do two, to graph two rules and find out where they intersect. I've already put on this graph um, the x and y axis, and I've chosen a scale of one because my rules, the numbers on my rules really aren't that large. Okay, remember how we graph a rule. We graph a rule by finding first its starting point or y-intercept on the y-axis. So I'm going to go on the y to negative 4. Okay, that's right there. And then I'm going to go over 1 and up 3. So over 1 and up 1, 2, 3. And there's my next point. I'm going to stair-step over 1, up 1, 2, 3. Over one, up one, two, three. Okay, so I stair stepped up. I oh, wait, one, two, three. I'm going to draw my line. Okay, and I've already color coded, but I'm going to write the rule again y equals 3x minus 4. Next one, using blue for it, starts at 6. Rate of change or the growth is going to be over 1 and down 2. Over 1, down 2. Over 1, down 2. I see that's where they're going to cross. Over 1, down 2. Okay. Now, draw my line. Write my rule. Find out where they intersect. And I saw that they intersected right there, which is at the point 2, comma, 2. So if x is 2 and y is 2, that will be the intersection point. We'll continue this in part 2.